In this video we show the work of SprutCom12 on the example of a simple part with Hraxis machining. First, go to Model tab to import a part. To make this, choose the part folder, press on Import and choose your part. We have it in the SprutCom folder version 12 models milling 2.5D. This is our part. Transfer the coordinate system to the corners of the part. To make this, press Transform and replace these points. Move X minimum by minimum position. The coordinate system has moved to a corner. Now go to Machining tab. Let's begin the machining. The first operation that we will use is roughing waterline. Create a new operation. Press on U and select Roughing Waterline from the list. Change the tool. Choose diameter 16 mm. Also, we can change the tool name. In Job Assignment tab, set Restrict Zones. To do this, select the hole and set the restriction zone and select the lower level on this plane. In strategy, we set our new operation adaptive. Set the step as 8 mm. And depth step is 5. Now we can press run. Now we can try to simulate the toolpath. Go to simulation tab. Choose a new simulation type rock solid. Press run. Here we can increase the speed. We won't watch all the process now. Go to machining. The next operation is hole machining. Press new and select hole machining operation from the list. Create. Choose a drill with a diameter of 20 mm. Reduce the working length to 100 mm and length 100 mm too. In job assignment, select a hole and center. Let's set deep with chop removing with the step 6 passes. In the properties of the hole, also choose the drill tip. Press run. The hole was drilled. Next, we create a new roughing waterline operation again. We can copy the parameters of the first operation, but don't forget to clear job assignment. Indicate hole as a job assignment. Set this level as lower one. The other settings are OK, just increase the number of passes to 7 and press Run. Now we have calculated and drilled the hole. That's all for this operation. Next, create a finishing to the contouring operation. Let the tool be 16 mm, the length is 80 mm. In job assignment, show the contour as the curve. This would be the lower level and this one as upper level. Thus, we increase the approach and retract. In job assignment, set depth of cut as 3 passes. Set the roughing passes. As the approximate distance here is 35, we set here 35 and step 8 mm. Press Run. Now we get this machining. Also, for convenience, you can make transitions around the workpiece. Press Run. And permit the reverse direction. Let's see the simulation. Next, to copy this element 
to the opposite side, create a new coordinate system. To make that, select the hole, press Create New CS. Now we have a new local coordinate system 1. In the operation options, select Multiply Scheme and Round Away through coordinate system 1 on 180 degrees. Press Run. Thus, we have created two elements. Next, let's drill the holes. Create a hole machining operation. In job assignment, set these four holes. Center, diameter 16 mm. Select Drill, respectively 16, length 100 mm. For the holes, select Drill Tips. Drill is the same. Step set as three passes. And now press run. So holes are done. Create one more new hole machining operation. Select these two holes. Set the center. The diameter is 10, so set the drill as 10. The length set as 100 mm. In the options, set drill tip. And also set chop removing. We can leave this step as it is, press run, and get this machining. Just two more operations left. We need to machine this radius. Create a new finishing to the contour operation. This radius is 4 mm. Take the torus mill tool with radius 4 mm. Temperature can be 20. So we have such a milling cutter. Now we take the contour, also indicate the upper and lower level and equidistant. Let's make a small approach. Press Run. We get the path. We'll watch it a bit later, so let's create the last 2D contour operation. We can copy the parameters from the previous one. Don't forget to delete all from job assignment and select a curve. Set the upper and lower levels. Disable multiplying. Press Run. Reset as we have to disable some more options. Make transitions on a safe plane. Now we can simulate. Press Run. So, that's all. The machining is over. It can be compared with the original. We see that all machining is performed clear. As a result, all the operations will transfer to the NC code. Go to machining. Press on post processor. Select the post that you need. We select Fanuc, for example. In this field, we enter the path of, to the NC file plus the name of the file itself. Press Run. Now we got the file that we can use on our machine. Thank you for your attention.